The frozen in dowel pin is, in every camshaft section, located in the same position. The dowel pinhole in the journal determines the right position of the camshaft section. Watch out for damage to the centering rim and the dowel pin while rolling in. Then, turn the shaft in the correct position so that the dowel pin can be fixed in the pinhole of the journal. Remove the camshaft extractor. The bolts are delivered with a locking glue, so always use new bolts when mounting. First, fit all bolts by hand as far as possible. Then turn with a spanner the journal against the flange of the camshaft section. Mind, while doing this, the alignment of the dowel pin. Then all the bolts have to be tightened at the specified torque. Before turning the engine, remove the bracket. Subsequently, lower down the inlet and exhaust roller by removing the locking strip from the guide bushes. Then turn the fuel cam in top position of the compression stroke in order to be able to remove the locking pin. Before the locking pin can be removed totally, the pressure of the spring in the fuel pump has to be intercepted to prevent damage to the guide bush. Mount the distance piece again. Subsequently, fit the locking pin back again. Check that no loose parts or tools are left behind before closing the camshaft space. Check both push rods for damage and mount them with the venting hole pointed upwards. Clean both pivots of the valve rocker arms. Check them also for damage and oil them with clean lubricating oil. When mounting the rocker arm support, the joint faces need to be dry and clean. The rocker arm support is being positioned with two dowel pins in the cylinder head. Clean and fit the bolts and tighten all six bolts with a spanner. Then, tighten the bolts in accordance with the procedure in the instruction manual to the right torque. Always check the valve clearance first, before mounting the valve cover. Mounting of the starting air distributor can be started by first fitting the intermediate disc to the shaft journal. And then tighten the four bolts at the right torque which is mentioned in the instruction manual. 
The dowel pin in the intermediate disc positions the starting air distributing shaft. This shaft is also tightened by four bolts to a specified torque. This torque is mentioned in the instruction manual. Check if no loose parts or tools are left behind in this part of the camshaft space and replace the cover. Then thoroughly clean the built-on surface of the starting air distributor. Check for damage and use the prescribed liquid seal on the surface. Now place the distributor, which is positioned by means of two dowel pins. Tighten the distributor and connect all pipes. Blow compressed air through the pipes in order to prevent pollution of the system. When all pipes are connected, the protecting plates can be remounted again. Before starting the engine, carry out a lube oil inspection on the parts that have been dismantled. 